the penultimate race in the nascar thunder 2004 career guys how is it going hopefully everyone's having a good day the pop secret 400 grab your popcorn because let's see how this is going to go the final two races of the season this has been a lot of fun i'm gonna miss i'm gonna miss this game a lot but it's been a lot of fun guys i want to give a shout out to all the patreon members as always for supporting the channel you guys are the absolute best but also want to give a shout out to just everyone who's been watching supporting commenting liking you know twitter instagram discord patreon everyone so thank you guys as always for supporting um i know again nothing really going on on the gaming side for nascar because we know why because it's just not in the best of of uh, states at the moment but thank you guys for for con your continued support it really really means a lot let's finish this off let's get a damn championship all right that's what we gotta do this race is maybe even more important than the final race mainly because the final race is really we we don't know what what homestead is going to be like we just don't we have no idea how fast we're gonna be at homestead we don't really know because we haven't been there all season we, we you know we're gonna have a a way better car than what we had last season so it's it's just a real big question mark so we just have to get you know go into to north carolina the rock and and just get it done uh we are 16 points behind dale and her jr it's gonna come down to the final race um no no matter what happens at the rock it will come down to the final race um jr has two wins on the season we have 20 wins on this yes I, I said that right 20 wins on the season but we are not leading the points that is just how it is so let's go to team management and see what we are going to do there's not really anything to do in the chassis department as you can see and i don't think there's anything to do with the engine department and there's nothing to do in the body department because we're building a new body so just planning on what we're going to do here for the engine we're going to use engine number 14 at homestead we're going to use engine 13 at the rock uh, for the, uh, or that was for the chassis, my bad, I'm sorry. The chassis is, uh, chassis number 13, which is tire grip 84, 79 tire wear, uh, for the rock 14, 86 tire grip, 81 tire wear for, uh, Homestead. For the engine, we will use engine number 12 for the rock. We'll use engine number 13 for Homestead and for the bodies, we will use body number 13 for Homestead and body 11 for the rock so yes we are we're taking our little bit weaker car to the rock because we believe we can you know be be just fine there and we're going to take our very you know the strongest car we've ever had to homestead in the final race of the season try to win the championship so that is what we're going to do let's go ahead and pick chassis number 13 uh engine number uh, 12 and body number 11 that is it car rating of 83 Will Dale Jr. qualify on pole? Doesn't really matter to me anymore. It really doesn't. I have him right where I want him. I really do. We just got to make sure he doesn't lead the most laps. That's it. I'm very confident. And usually when I get very confident, that's a bad thing. So I'm not going to get cocky. I'm going to be confident, but not cocky. Remember, Rock is a, you know, it's definitely a very difficult track. He's a very different, uh, difficult, definitely a very difficult character. So we'll see how this goes. We're live from the North Carolina Speedway, otherwise known as the Rock side of today's NASCAR race, the Pop Secret 400, right here on MRN. What makes the Rock so tough, Barney? North Carolina is a fast track, considering it's only a mile long. The corners are tricky, though, and getting off them fast is the key to getting speed down the straightaways. Casey Mears really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And, of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. He'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. Terry Labonte has been called the Iceman because of his cool demeanor under pressure. But maybe the nickname Iron Man is more appropriate. You know, that's right. Labonte set a record for consecutive race starts with 655. That's over 20 years without missing a race. The 99 car has had some run-ins with other drivers recently on the racetrack. You know, a little contact now and then is to be expected. The track gets crowded real quickly when you put 43 cars out there. I wouldn't be too worried about it. I cannot believe it. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is really just choking in front of our eyes. It, this is insane. Look at him. 
This is crazy. I mean, he, he cannot qualify on pole anymore. The final three races of the season, and he's choking. I'm fine with that. I mean, so now we know we can we can take the lead right here, guys. We can take the lead in the point standings heading into Homestead because Dale Earnhardt Jr. is just, I don't know, he's, he's not performing like he, like he was. So I'm going to take my sweet time getting to the front. And, okay, I, didn't, I don't want to fall back like that. Okay, let's relax here. But let's get to the front. We have a fast car. We know we have a fast car. We know we can enter turn one basically deeper than anyone else. So let's go ahead and do that. Keep the car clean. Don't get any damage on it. Here is turn one. Just go in there a little bit. Okay, a little bit of contact right there. Okay, uh, keep the car clean. I did not keep the car clean, but no damage. We're fine. We're fine. Don't worry about it, guys. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, not the best start. I'm still in 38th after four laps completed. I'm going to have to start pushing it a little bit more, especially in a turn one, just because I can't really get a lot of runs coming out of the corner. I'm really tight. I'm really tight coming out of turn two. I'm pretty sure I had that same problem in the first North Carolina race. Labonte, don't do it. You did that before, don't do it. He almost, you know, was able to get us. Now I'm picking up some momentum. There we go, we're in a 30 second. We should be able to get more spots here. Dive it in, beautiful scenes, no contact made in a 28th. All right, now we're starting to get into a little bit of rhythm. I just have to really fight coming out of turn two. That's the only problem. Sprag, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Hey, nope, okay. All right, that's fine. I'll just, I'll get it back. Don't worry, I'm fine. We're fine. We're okay. Where's Dale Jr.? Dale, he's not in the top five. Well, 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 well. How the, the, the story has changed. Dale Earnhardt Jr. went from qualifying on pole and leading every lap, and now he's not even running in the top five for two races in a row. <laughs> this is going to be a lot more difficult than I thought. Not to get in front of Junior. I think we will still get there. 12 laps in. We've just cracked the top 20. It's just requiring a lot of patience because I can't get my car to turn. That's really the main issue. I'm going to have to go lower on the wedge. Hey, yep. I'm going to have to go lower on the wedge on the first pit stop just to get this thing to turn a little bit. And probably short pit just because I can't. I mean, I'm losing time. 7.4 seconds behind the leader. I'm constantly losing time to the leader. But that's not, that's not Dale Earnhardt Jr., so I'm, I'm fine with that. I just have to get this thing going, and I'm right now I'm strug way, struggling way more than I expected to. I, I will fully admit, struggling way, way, way more than I expected to. But let's get some spots right here. Beautiful scenes. That should be two. Again, I can't get on the throttle, though, so it's only going to be one. I could just get on the throttle. That would be very nice. All right, we cracked the top 15, and we just got to get through these guys real quick. Let's get Newman up the track back down let's see if i get underneath rod nope not gonna be able to get underneath rod had to really go on the brakes there oh and he's gonna check up and that's gonna let ryan newman get back around me okay that was not oh thank you thank you at least you held up newman as well i appreciate that all right rod i need you to get get out of the way come on we're losing time I'm gonna clear newman there we go all right now we got to get around ricky rod get both sides jimmy johnson there we go. Beautiful scenes. I'm going to try and slide up in front of him. Nope, not going to be able to do it. And we fall back in behind. We'll set up for the next time in a turn one. It's fine. Let's get through turns three and four pretty well. Mm, it's okay. That's fine. That is fine. That's exactly what we needed. Go up the track. Wait on it. Wait on it. Wait on it. Now we go down. There we go. Might be able to get Jimmy Johnson as well. Can I clear? Not going to clear Jimmy, but we... We basically slowed him down a little bit. That's fine. That's completely okay. By, the, by also the, that beautiful, beautiful paint scheme. Ricky Rod, don't die by me. Don't. There we go. There we go. All right. Beautiful scenes. Gas it up. And don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. We're good. All right. Just need to loosen this car up, and I'll be fine. Let's get around Ward Burton. Through there. We are now in P9. We are eight and a half seconds behind the leader, which is not good news. But we're not that far behind second. So I'm not too. I'm not too worried about. It. All right, let's get around Kenseth, and then that will lead us to Dale Earnhardt Jr., who's currently running in sixth place. So that is fine. Now we got some clean track, which is what we really needed. Uh, hold off Kenseth real quick, because the front tires just are not turning. We're going to have to go like a full round down on the wedge in order to get this thing to turn a little bit to wake it up. I mean, it really, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not winning this race at this point. I've kind of accepted that. But we can still finish a few positions out of Dale Earnhardt Jr. and get the lead in the point standings. That's the only thing that matters at the current moment. But I need the wedge uh, adjustment. So I'm going to pit as soon as possible. 
Oh god, what was that? That's okay. That's just not. That's that's just. I don't know what that was. That was just bad. All right, I'm gonna shut up and focus. We're gonna pit as soon as possible. I'm trying to do math in my head in terms of when to pit, but we will short pit in order to get some fresh tires and get the wedge adjustment in. Wow, we are bad. Okay, I'm a little bit worried now. <sighs> I pulled away from Kenseth and everyone behind us, but we're not gaining really on Jarrett and Earnhardt Jr. and all them, so I'm a little bit worried. Trying my best. Tony Stewart looks like he's gotten ca uh, caught up in some traffic, so I think, yeah, the gap of the leader isn't really closing, even though, or it's not growing, but it's still 8.2 seconds. We have to just go like one or two more laps before we can pit. We try to get to lap 33 essentially, but I think 32 will be okay, because I really need to come in very, very soon. So we're going to pit uh, next time by lap 32 is when we're going to pit. So it's going to be like 32, 65, and then to the end of the race uh, to lap 98. So let's get this done. Lewis, books, 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 right now, right now, because I need this wedge adjustment. All right, pit crew, you guys have been absolutely crap all season. I really need you guys now, okay? So please, please, pit crew. Let's not speed. Down in. And there we go. All right. Uh, let's go. Hmm. Five, one, five, one, five, one. We go the full round. So we're gonna go a full round down on the wedge, and let's see if we can get a good pit stop. Please, pit crew. Please, please. Por favor. Please, please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. It's good on the right. Good on the right. Come on. Come on. You're good. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, 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 good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Big Crew. 15.7, I really, really needed that. We, we, we really, really, really needed that, but we got it, so we're good. Uh, let me get in some decent track, please, please. Just decent track position, that's, that's good, that's fine. That is enough, that's all I need. All right, let's go. Oh my God, so many cars are on pit road. Thank God we pitted the lap before. Look at that. So many. We're going to gain so much time just because of the pit road uh, congestion down there. And let's see if this car handles any better. It's, it's all right. It's not really great. Uh, that's Dale Jarrett right there. So we have gained a little bit of time on him. I don't see Dale Earnhardt Jr., so he must have stayed out a little bit longer. He might have led a lap. i got to keep an eye on that. Uh, he's in third at the moment, so he's not leading laps. That's good. All right, get the heck out of my way. Let's go try and get uh, Dale Jarrett at the moment. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Just can't really get back on the throttle because I make up so much time on entry, and he's able to drive it right up off. Is Junior in the lead? Nope, still in third. All right, we're good. All right, Dale Jr. pitted that. So he, he pitted about four to five laps after we did. This car is definitely looser. Definitely looser. I think it's, it, it is going to help me. Yep, yep. I just got to be very focused on driving it. I can't spin out. All right, so where will Dale Jr. come out? He's gonna ha he definitely must have suffered on, on being on five lap older tires. So we should be ahead of him. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking, still looking. I see a red car. There he is. There is Dale and her Jr. And is Jarrett gonna get by him? Come on, Dale Jarrett. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him. I think Jarrett got him. Yes, he did. Okay, so Jarrett is in front of Jr. We have passed him on green flag stops. We are currently in sixth, and I think that is where we have rounded out. Yes, we have. So, P6, we are 5.4 seconds behind the leader, so we've gained time on Tony Stewart as well. That is good news. Let's see we, Let's see if we go in this race. Car definitely drives a lot better now, so I can, I'm able to turn it. So, let's see if we go in this race. But right now, the main thing is we are in front of Dale Earnhardt Jr. I really, really want to lead a lap, though. We're not going to lead the most laps, so that's, that's already gone, but I really want to lead a lap. And in order to lead a lap... We have to win the race because I'm not, I'm not going to be able to stay out long enough uh, before the second pit stop in order to lead a lap. So we're just going to have to stick to our, our short pitting strategy, getting the fresh tires on the car and, and doing it that way. we got Kevin Harvick and Gordon right there. Kurt Busch going back underneath, but we're not going to let him pass. He's still there, but it's fine. We're just going to pass Jack Sprague entering turn one. Here we go. There we go. All right, let's go get Kevin Harvick and Gordon. That's going to be another 10 points right there. All right, here's Harvick. Just got passed by a lap car. And we're going to follow the 11 and pass him. There's Cork Gibbs. Get around him. And we are in P4. Please don't come back. Why, why, why? You're a lap down. I, I hate that you guys get, like, speed boost coming out of turn two. Hey, that's fine. All right, let's go see if we can catch Gordon. Gordon's pulling away. He's on fresh, like, five lap fresher tires. But I'm going to see if we can try to catch him. The car's really on the edge now. Uh, the gap to Tony Stewart. 
is still 5.4 seconds. We have not really gained or lost any time there. We're not going to win this race. I just I, I can feel it. We're not winning this race. So that's just something we're going to have to forget about. Stay in the top five. Right now, Dale Jr. nowhere to be seen. So stay in the top five, and hopefully we'll just gather enough points to either be level or ahead of going uh, of Jr. heading into Homestead, and then it'll just be a 1v1 showdown at Homestead. Uh, Mark Martin's 1.7 seconds behind Dale Jarrett, so he's about four seconds ahead of us. I don't know if that's possible, but we just got to hope the lap traffic can help us a little bit, and we could just maneuver around the lap traffic. That's going to be our biggest, uh, our biggest help if we could do it. Gordon. Ooh, got to pin him behind the four car if I can. If I can do that in turn one, I'll be able to get him. Or I just need to just stay close to him in three and four. Please, please don't go to the bottom. I got him. I, I got, oh, I almost had him. I almost had him. All right, I'll get him in a turn one here. I will get him in a turn one. Just make sure we get him up the track just a little bit. There we go. Really, really good timing there. And we got the pass done. Slide up. A little bit loose in the middle of the corner, but it's fine. No, don't go down. Don't go down the track. All right, I got to block this. Damn it. It's just car doesn't stick. Doesn't stick in the bottom. He's still there. We're just going to have to drive it deep into turn one, battling with Gordon. Come on. Deep into one. Clear. Clear, clear, because that was a really good entry. Really, really good entry. All right, so now we only have two cars in front of us. The only problem is we can't see them. <laughs> They're, they are nowhere near uh, at the moment. They are way out there. So we just focus on ourselves, focus on getting these lap cars down one by one. That's perfect right there. I mean, that's just very, very quick work of the 25 so very quick there the gap is under five seconds it's 4.9 to tony stewart so he still is struggling with lap traffic a little bit and we could just keep on going don't let gordon pack around us junior we don't see him who cares about dale and our junior focus on ourselves okay the car is getting really loose now this is really worrying we got to really drive that we can't pit until lap like 65 essentially so we're gonna have to go another eight laps with a very loose race car. We're gaining time, 4.4 seconds to Tony Stewart. So it's loose, but it's fast. I just really don't want to spin. And I'm, I'm worried that, especially in the entry to three, it's really starting to step out now, but it's still turning. Look how much, it, if, you can, if we're able to just get the entry of the corner right, I mean, this thing is really turning in the center of the corner now with old tires, 3.9 seconds, 3.9 seconds to Tony Stewart. He must be held up, he is. You look at the mini map, he's definitely held up in some version of lap traffic. Aye. All right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Just back up turn three, back up turn three. Don't take too many risks here. Just let the car slide up just a little bit. We are, we're rolling now, we're rolling. Even on old tires, this adjustment has really, really helped. More difficult to drive, but helped. 3.5 seconds, he is held up. Tony Stewart is 100% held up in lap traffic. Let's go get him. And I think he's out now. Yeah, he, he got out, he's in front now. But we were able to cut the gap to three seconds. So that was good. We got about a second, and, a second and a half from Tony Stewart being held up in traffic. Gordon's still behind us, but we are okay. Only a few more laps. Just a few more laps of driving this thing on old tires. Then we will go get our fresh tires. I thought maybe Mayfield was pitting there. So that's why I just rode a little bit higher up. Let's get him right there. All right, tires very worn. Yep, I know, I know. I know the tires are very worn. What the heck's going on here? Okay, all right, what's going on? All right, you can, all right, well, not gonna take any stupid risks. We're we'll just wait, just wait, just take our medicine, get held up a little bit, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Just wait on it, wait on it. All right, you're gonna block, that's really annoying, but fine. There we go. Don't spin it, don't spin it, don't spin it. Keep it under control. Okay, just one more lap. We just have to go one more lap and then we'll be fine. Oh, thank God, all right, just pit. Books, 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 loose. Books, books, books. This time by. This time by. Very low on fuel. Tires very worn. Let's go. Let's be aggressive on pit road. Gonna just do it that way. There we go. And aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. There we go. All right, race car. Oh lord, that thing was really tough to handle at the end, but it's fast. So that's what we just we just gotta do. Pit crew. Pit crew. Pit crew. If they mess up here, do I fire them before the final race? I don't. Do, I don't think they deserve a championship if, if if they mess up here. I'm waiting. Please. Oh my God, it's good on the rights. Uh, I don't want to look. Please. Oh my God, they gave a 15 flat. They gave a 15 flat when they needed it. Oh my Lord. All right, pit crew. I'm sorry.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been too hard on you. You guys have been crap all season, but when I needed you in a race where I really, really needed you, my hands are up. My hand. I, I, I. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my lord. I will. Oh, uh, I will do unimaginable things to every single one of you after this race. Oh, great, great. Oh, and I'm gonna have clean track. I'm gonna have clean track. I mean, I know that's not clean, clean track, but it's still, to me, very. Look at this, clean track. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my God, it might actually be meant to be. I might be destined. Oh Lord, have mercy. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's make up as much time as we can. We might be able to lead a lap if we can make up three seconds in this little uh, pit stop sequence. So let's see if we can do that. Oh, you guys better not hold me up, I swear. Do not hold me up. The leaders are staying out a while. I'm still in 18. <laughs> we pitted four laps ago. We're still in P18, but I mean, hey, I'm fine with that. I'm completely okay with uh, them taking a little bit of time as long as I am able to just keep making up. Oh, wait, who got in the lead? Mark Martin. Okay, now Dale, Dale Jr. is not even in the top five, so that's good. Let's just keep rolling. All right, I want that lap traffic to come down pit road. I don't want to hit all those guys. I hope next time by they pit, because if they don't, I'm going to have to get through them. So please go down pit road before I catch you, frauds. Go down pit road this time by. Please, 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 all you frauds. Get out of here. Go. Please. Please. Are you guys going? I think some of them might be. I don't know. I have to be careful. I have to take this top lane just to be careful. Uh, nope. None of them are. All right. We're going to have to pass them. Luckily, I have such good momentum right here. And that's going to get most of them. Yep. That I got so lucky. I got so lucky with the momentum. The timing of that was absolutely perfect. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We got cars coming out of. Oh, God. Whoa. Loose, 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 loose. We're fine, we're fine. All right, more leaders coming in. Is Dale Jr. leading? Nope. All right, we're fine. I think Dale Jr.'s already pitted. Uh, who cares where he is? I don't care. All right, let's move, let's move, let's move. Three more cars right there. We are just absolutely cutting through the lap cars. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, my Lord, we're second. We're second. And Jeff Gordon is leading. We're ahead of Tony Stewart. I don't even see him. Where is Tony Stewart? I don't see him. Did we really gain that much time? Do you guys see Tony Stewart? I don't see Tony. Some, Jeff Gordon is still leading. So he hasn't come down pit road. But we are, I mean, we're a lap down. So I, I don't know where Stewart is. But we're ahead. Wow. We must have had some, I mean, we just really must have made up so much time. I mean, okay. All right. Gordon's now pitting. We're going to lead. Oh, my Lord. We are going to lead. I did not think we will be leading. Whoa. Oh my god, okay. Uh, did we lead that lap? No, I forgot, we're a lap down. Hold on, we'll lead that lap in a second. Alright, we are going to lead a lap right there. We are 2.8 seconds ahead of Tony Stewart, 7 seconds ahead of third. Junior is not in the top 5. I'm not going to look where he is. I just know he's not in the top 5. And right now we just have to focus. I don't know how we were able to manage to get 5 second net gain, maybe even 6 second net gain on Tony Stewart throughout the, that, that set of green flag stops but now what we have to worry about is the car is loose and just don't wreck three seconds out of tony stewart loose don't wreck just do not wreck whatever i do we have a champion we we right now virtually are in the championship lead so just please <laughs> i'm so nervous oh lord okay just just gonna just gonna you know just run laps just run laps back up the entry i don't have to dive it into turn one anymore just back up turn one back up turn three once I get to the center of the corner, it's fine. Just don't wreck on entry. That's all that matters. Right, this race is not over yet. Tony Stewart's in the mirror. I can see him 1.6 seconds behind us. And we just have to just be patient with it. It's fine. And even away, we don't have to win the race. I, we, we, we don't, I mean, I'm being honest. We don't have to. Like, I'm, I'm being completely, I'm really focused on just not wrecking. Because <laughs> we have led our lap. I don't know where Junior is. He doesn't seem like he's having a good race. He's still not in the top five, so... As long as we don't wreck, we are completely okay. Put some lap cars in between us and Tony Stewart, and we should be fine. That's all I'm thinking about. Whoa, whoa, I thought someone was on my outside for a second. I'm so, I've, I've had PTSD with the guys, you know, um, getting the speed boost coming out of turn two. For so, so, some reason, I thought someone was on my outside for a second, but we're fine. Tony Stewart's in that black paint scheme back there. Uh, so he is 1.3 seconds behind now, but we have six laps to go. I think we will be okay. I do, but this car is just going to be really tough to, to drive the final five laps. We're focused on not wrecking it. 
right front tire is very worn you can see it's red but only two more laps i'm really starting to struggle now tony stewart's right there he's not too far away but we don't have to go that quickly just gotta back up the entries just back up the entries let it coast in and it will be okay just drive it up off yes that smoke is for me the lap before i got loose coming off so all right turn three this is where it's really risky just let it glide in there we go pick up the throttle get one more lap car around us or behind us rusty wallace is battling tony stewart this is the final lap fittipaldi get the hell out of the way i swear all right final lap we are good we're home just one more corner oh my lord the comeback is complete the comeback fittipaldi i swear fittipaldi you know what go ahead get your lap back i don't care go you absolute fraud oh lord I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, we ran the perfect race. The per I cannot believe we won that. That car was so difficult to drive. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. We're back in the points lead. We are back in the points lead. The comeback is complete. Oh, one more race to go. Do we celebrate for getting back in the points lead? No. No. Job's not finished yet. Uh-uh. Job is not finished. We get the Rock Night Track. Okay, where did Dale Jr. finish? Not second, not third, not fourth, not fifth, not sixth, not seventh, not eighth? Ninth. He finished in ninth. Started fourth, finished in, finished in ninth. It, this is the, a little bit of the wrong time to be in a slump, Mr. Jr., 138 points that he gained we got 180 <sighs> a 42 point difference 42 minus 16 leaves us at what is that what's 42 minus 16 26 right am i right 26 point gap um what happened to my paint scheme what happened to my paint scheme there's no way right there's absolutely no way this has happened there's no way did they really just leave us before the final race of the season? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? Sponsor news. Package sponsor is unhappy. And then they left. They left. Are you out of your mind? Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, what do we do, guys? They left. The Aaron's dream machine. We get back in the points lead and they're gone. Uh, standings. It is a 26-point gap. We have a 26-point gap to Dale Earnhardt Jr. If we just finish se second, we win. If we finish third, we win. If we finish fourth, I think, finish fourth, we might win as well. I think. I'm not sure. But, um, okay. This is a twist of events. So, what is available? Primary. EA Games. <laughs> EA Games is the package sponsor that we could use. Georgia Power or Monte Carlo. Guys, you pick. Let me know what you say in the comments down below. Aaron's have left us. They've left us high and dry. Should we just go sponsorless? That's another option, to be honest. Should we go sponsorless without a sponsor and win the final race of the season to win the championship? Let me know what you think in the, in the comments down below. Take care of yourselves. I will see you for the series finale, finale later this week. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. I, we're back. We're back. Just don't choke it at Homestead. Peace out.